Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to send out an automated email that will send a coupon code to your customer after they opt in on your launch cart pop-up form. So it's important to know at this point, uh, this requires a paid plan with MailChimp to be able to do this. So if having a paid plan is not an option for you, then I would recommend that when you create your pop-up that you display the coupon code at the time when they opt in on the pop-up, okay? Um, so what we're going to do here is we are going to set up an automation. So we're going to come down to automations here. And if we scroll down, they've got a lot of pre-built ones. <clears throat> they do have one down here, I noticed. Uh, welcome contacts you subscribed via your pop-up form. Well, that's kind of exactly what we're doing, but I'm going to create one from scratch just so you can see how it works and it's super easy to do so let's hit create one from scratch uh, let's call it um, save 10 coupon okay you could call it whatever you want maybe you're doing something you know like a giveaway or whatever something completely different just name it so you know what it's for so first of all we need to choose a starting point so we are going to tag added okay now again uh, important to remember I've tested my pop-up my, my opt-in pop-up so the tag has kind of been imported from launch cart into um, MailChimp so make sure you test your pop-up form uh, with your tag and then that will bring that into here so once we've opt once one person's opted in it's now knows that that save 10 tag is there so let's hit start same uh, save starting point so right now uh, what will happen is somebody will opt in on your pop-up form, they'll get added to your audience or to your email list and they will be tagged. Once they're tagged, it will trigger this to start this sequence of events here. So all we want to do is send an email. Uh, as soon as someone's tagged with the save 10 tag, we want to send an email, okay? So just drag over, send an email, double click into it and then click uh, send a, select a template. Okay, now they've got lots of uh, pre-built stuff. I'm just going to go for this real basic one column one. It's up to you if you want to dig into it a little bit more and have a look at those. <clears throat> and they've got a pretty easy to use editor. Over here on this side on the right is all your things you can drag in and add. And over this side is where we can edit and remove and duplicate stuff. So this logo here, I'm going to hit the trash can and get rid of that. This text block here. I'm going to click that little pencil icon. I'm going to delete this pre-built stuff and I'm just going to go hey so you can do highlight that in clear styles just to remove that formatting now I'm going to use the F name tag uh, and what this is is a piece of short code that if you are collecting the net your name um, on your opt-in form on your pop-out form from launch cart then it will import the name into uh, MailChimp and it will populate the right name there in everybody's email. Now, if you're not collecting the uh, name on your opt-in form in launch cart, then you can leave that off. And let me just delete it and show you again. Just use a merge tag here and go for first name. Okay, so hey, first name, uh, thanks for grabbing this coupon. Yep, just add it at checkout to get your discount okay and just put save 10 now i'd recommend you a little more creative than me on your email but of course i'm just doing it for speed uh thanks from all the team at prince Fantastic. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, so uh, let's hit save and return to journey up here. Nope, nope. Let's hit save and close here first and then save <clears throat> and return to customer journey. Okay, so we've now created that email. As it stands, this will work and be absolutely fine. But while we're here, we may as well uh, add what else we can do as well. So this way you're getting a ton of traffic and you're getting tons of opt-ins coming in and they're coming and they're getting their email. Happy days, they're using their email. But we don't have to actually end it there. What we can do is we can then add a time delay and we can set the time delay for whatever we want. So days, weeks, whatever, hours. 
Um, so set it. <clears throat> what here's just one method that I recommend that we you can do, and that's set it for one week, and then go ahead and get another email. So after one week uh, from getting their opt-in, they will then get uh, they'll then get this next email, and we can craft this email and write this email the same way we did before. Just click it. Uh, click send the template and then start creating your emails and what I recommend you could do is do like a, just a weekly specials you know a 10% discount on a certain select amount of products or whatever um, and you can just keep bolting these on as you go so you can when you're ready you just add another one then when you're uh, oops, when you're ready again add another time delay for another week and then uh, grab another email and then do another special uh, you know special discount email or whatever you know a little collection of products or whatever and you can keep on and on doing this for as long as you want you know maybe a year so you can get 52 of those in for a year and then every single person that opts in on your pop-up form completely automated without you having to do anything every week they'll start getting an email so you don't have to build out an entire year's worth at first like I said you can just do it one tiny email at a time <coughs> and just keep adding them on as you go. <coughs> so, oh yeah, uh, there's another thing you should remember, contacts repeat journey. I would have this selected here so that if they come back and opt in again, um, they get they could, you know, they'll go through this sequence again. It's not going to hurt to have it switched on. In some cases you could have it off so if they opted in again and your pop-up form then it, they wouldn't go through this process so it is optional but uh, personally I'd leave it on so they go if they come back another day maybe they lost the coupon code the email or anything they opt in again boom they're straight back in uh, like I say you will need to have a paid plan starting at $17 there um, and once you've got that paid plan you can do this with your emails um, and you can also do a lot of other funky stuff as well so you can use this uh, or this system you know if they um, maybe it's for you know a particular product or something like that um, you know or buyers or something like that and then you can push them through lots of different sequences as well so it's a pretty cool thing to be able to do um, with that said I will catch you in the next video thanks guys bye for now